and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another expedition. It's Tuesday. It's the new week. We just opened up our uh, chess um, here on stream. Did not get any uh, champions for our weekly rewards, um, but now we get to play expedition and earn some more champions. Um, Ash is the champion that we're looking for that I need two more of for the two decks today. But of course, with the store resetting, we, we can get the wild cards and we'll be able to get the ashes either way. But first, let's play our expedition. Let's embark. We got our expedition token. Let's use that. And let's have some fun. These expeditions are always a lot of fun. Here we go. Trial number one. So this is the draft format. And we got some good ones. We got... Um, we can go Relentless and have Katarina, Decisive Maneuver, and Trifarian Hopeful. Which I really like being Noxus. I think Noxus is a really good um, region to be in with these. And this is, I guess this one, it says that it wants to be like Demacia Noxus. And Demacia is also another really good region to be in. So I think that Demacia Noxus is, is maybe the most... Like, maybe the best region to be in, honestly. Um, I don't really love Decisive Maneuver, but it's it's been fine for me whenever I've played it in the past. It's, it hasn't been, like, a bad card, uh, but it's not something that I'd want more than one of. Um, but it's it's been perfectly fine as, as a one of. Or we could go Ionia, which Ionia is also pretty powerful, and Zed um, is, of course, one of the best. You know, like, it's, it's just an amazing... Zed's an amazing champion. And we have two great cards that Zed's paired with. Usari is really, really strong, having Challenger and Elusive. And Windfarer Hatchling is very, very strong as well. So, you know, we got a rare and an epic. We got two really good cards paired with Zed. And then we have the weakest one of these. Um, Braum, Mighty Poro, and Avalanche. We, we'd want to be playing a, you know, probably a slower, more controlling deck with Avalanche and, and Braum and stuff, but... It's definitely down power level than the other two. So we'll go with one of these other two. Um, yeah, it's basically, it's saying that like for this, for this style, Relentless, um, it says attack with these sturdy units again and again and again, um, that Demacia pairs well with, with this kind. Um, yeah. All right, so... I think I'm going to take this Ionia one. I think this is just a, a really good bucket, two really good cards to go along with Zed. I think it's pretty easy to make a really good Noxus deck, and maybe our second uh, trial will will go that route. But this is just a um, a rare opportunity of Ionia cards, and Ionia is a good place to be anyway, getting a lot of um, elusive units. Okay, so this is an, a Noxus one that is not as strong of cards. Vladimir is not is not as good of a champion as either of these other two. Um, and Blood for Blood and Crimson Curator, really not that strong. We go Garen, which Garen is awesome. Tiana Crown Guard is also awesome when I summoned Rally. And Silverwing Vanguard is really strong as well. Like This is a really good bucket here with the Demacian Steel. Um, we probably want to try to focus more on Ionia if we can and try to get a bunch of elusive units, but this is just really good cards. Or we can try to go, um, P and Z and we get Ezreal, which is good, but you really want to be targeting your, your enemy units a whole bunch. That's why it says that it pairs well with, uh, Freljord, as you can see that symbol at the top. Um, because Freljord has the frostbite stuff to pair. But Kempunk Pickpocket is a good rare. Um, you know, you hit your opponent with this, create a ran you know, create one of their spells, and back alley barkeep is awesome. This card is pretty awesome. Um, you get random cards with it. Good card advantage. But I'm gonna go with with this route. Like this, this is just the strongest one here. Garen, Crown Guard, and Silverwing Vanguard. So we're gonna go here. But I want to focus on um I think I want to focus on the Ionia cards and try to focus on elusive units. Um, and not just the Demacia stuff. 
All right, so a second Usari, which Usari is still good, but, you know, like, I don't, you know, like, we don't want to have all five mana cards, but Twin Disciplines is great. You know, Twin Disciplines is all over Constructed. It's it's a really good trick, so I like Twin Disciplines a whole lot. Um, Vanguard Defender, I'm not a huge fan of, um, but it is a two-drop when you need them. Sergeant's, a, this is a good three-drop because, um, you know, it is, you know, replace itself. It draws a card. Back-to-back -back is an awesome trick though expensive and protector is a really good two drop like these would be these are both very very respectable choices but i kind of want to just try an ionia one i actually haven't drafted an ionia focus deck in a while so i want to focus on ionia here um this gets a this ionia one gives us two two drops but not very good two drops but they're two drops basically and so we don't have to worry as much about finding two drops. Green Glade Lookout, if you can trade with something, you know, it can, you know, reduce something by one, you know, like reducing Hatchling, Crown Guard, that could be nice, especially if we can uh, protect this with like a, you know, Twin Disciplines or something. Um, and then strike again, if you can strike twice and reduce things even more, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I mean, I, I really like Mage Seeker Conservator. I like that card, and standalone is very powerful if you can if you can cast it. It's a powerful card, um, and these are both pretty good cards. Especially Whirling Death is awesome, but we're not really Noxus. I'm gonna just take the two drops, so we can kind of focus on other stuff. I just I haven't really drafted an Ionia deck in a really long time. All right, um, I love Jewel Protector. Jewel Protector is super powerful. Um, love this card. Wayfinder, have to drop, we have to draft a bunch of one drops for Wayfinder, so that's kind of a problem. Um, Detain and Vanguard Cavalry, not bad. Life Blade's pretty good, especially if we can pump it up. And Green Glade Lookout. You know, another two drop just re reduce the cost of, of stuff. Um, I kind of want to focus this discipline route, strengthen the units in your hand, then strike when the time is right. The problem is this Wayfinder may not actually do anything. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to get this Jewel Protector, though. Shadow Shift and Mentor. Meh. I mean, Inspiring Mentor is a one drop. Inspiring Mentor again, but then Will of Ionia. I think Will of Ionia is a better card than Shadow Shift, so I like this one more. And then Mage Seeker and Conservator, which is probably a better one drop than Inspiring Mentor, and Vanguard Redeemer, which is also a pretty good three drop. Um, even though I want to kind of keep on keeping this discipline, I'm going to take this one just because I think Redeemer um, is a good. I think Conservator is better than Mentor, and Redeemer is a good card also. We do kind of need some spells, though, but I think that we'll be able to find spells. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Another one drop when an ally gets barrier, grant me plus two, plus zero. That could that could be a decent one drop. And then a key guardian. A conservator and a duelist. That's actually a pretty good, pretty good one. Jewel protector and shadow shift. Ooh. This is tough. I do like... I do like Jewel Protector, but I don't really like Shadow Shift. Hmm. This is tough. None of these, none of these are really jumping off the page as like really good cards. We we really haven't seen the elusive units. You know, like we haven't seen uh, like Shadow Assassin and like the two mana. Elusive units. Like, those are the cards I want to be taking. Gosh, I think I'm just going to take this middle one. There we go. Navori Conspirator. That's a good card. All right, we'll take this one with the Conspirator. We'll have the Mentor also. Even though I do need tricks, and repost is a good trick. I'm going to take this, though. All 
All right, more one drops. Um, I think we're already doing okay on one drops. I don't. We don't really need to like get more. I'm going to be taking this middle one. Radiant Guardian, as y'all know, is can just be a bomb in single combat. It's a good removal spell. So we're going to be taking this middle one. It's a pretty easy pick. So Zephyr Sage. If you can get two Zephyr Sages, we did this before with a draft. We got two Zephyr Sages in hand, and you can just go infinite. You have one clone the other, which clones the other, which clones the new one, and so on. That's that's pretty sweet. Um, I don't really love the the Blade Twirler though. I think I want to go with just take like the fourth one drop and try not to take any more one drops and just have you know we'll have four and then we can get you know we can get another spell in here with either a purify or a standalone um i think because we have so many units it's going to be kind of hard to get standalone to work so let's do the purify Really don't need more one drops. I want like two and three and four mana stuff. Hmm. Well, I mean, single combat's probably the best card out of all these. I don't really want a fourth conservator though. But the conservator. You know, like these things, like, you know, we have these die, we get six mana um, spells. So, you know, like, we're going to be able to have, like, good top end once we start having these things die. And could go Blade Scout and Highwayman, which I, you know, Blade Scout's a pretty decent card, but Highwayman uh, is very, very meh. I guess I'm taking the single combat. Okay. Um, you know, Fleet Feather Tracker and Senna. That's some power there. But again, it's just another one and a three. Man, we're going to have so many one drops. Imperion's really powerful, but Snapper is pretty whatever. I didn't really end up with an Ionia deck like I wanted. Hey, good afternoon, Kitty Dexterity. Good afternoon. I guess I'm going to take like this first one with the Tracker and the Senna. Uh, especially Tracker is a real good challenger. I like the Imperion, but I don't really like Snapper. All right, another Tracker in a single combat. An Elder and a Kinku Lifeblade. I kind of like that. And this Persuader and Purify. I don't think the Persuader is very good. We're, we're not going to take Persuader. We really just don't need more one drops, right? Hey, Rav I feel like we don't really need more one drops. Let's, I guess we'll go with Elder and Lifeblade. And Elder. Elder can be good with having all of these units that we do. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we got a Green Glade duo finally. It's a good card. And then uh, Hatchling, another, another, you know, a second Hatchling. That card's awesome. So yeah, I like that. Bannerman's really good, but we're not going to necessarily uh, turn on Bannerman that that much. And then you know, Elder with Blade Scout, definitely fine. But I'm I'm going this route. I'm going with the Green Glade duo, and then we get a Hatchling. All right, we can do a little bit of trading. Um, this is a very easy trade. We can either do Purify for an Inspiring Mentor, which we don't really need to do. Green Glade Lookout for Silverwing Vanguard, which is an upgrade. I would normally do that trade, especially with uh, how we, you know, we could use a little bit more power. I would normally do that trade. But this middle trade is just too good. Bright Steel Formation, this epic, is really, really strong. And I want this card in my deck. And that's an easy trade. 
All right, well, I, I don't really like our deck. Um, the Our first pick with that Zed and the two cards that came with the Zed, I really liked. I thought that we, you know, I thought that was like that we we're going to start getting like an, an awesome Ionia deck, but it really didn't show up. The awesome Ionia deck, that is. Um, I'm going to keep the tracker. And I'm going to try keeping the Wayfinder and the Usari. We're going to need to draw something that costs two or three, which shouldn't be too difficult with our deck. Hey, After Wizard. Just started our expedition. What would you wish to learn? We got some good power in our hand. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All right, got a couple of Mage Seeker Conservators. That worked. I think we have more um, Demacia cards than we do Ionia, so I think this Wayfinder is actually going to only, you know, it's going to hit like less than half the time. I still have some fire. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have any puff cap decks on the list soon. We could, I, I, yeah, I know you want, yeah, because you want me to replay that other one that we did the other day that was sweet, that, um, the puff cap, um, yeah, I, like, I played Elusive Burn, but that one, was, that one wasn't focused on puff caps with the Timo, uh, Timo Wayfinder. That's the deck. Um, yeah, I should play the Timo Wayfinder deck again. I should definitely do that. Hmm. Yeah, Timo Timo Wayfinder. Okay. Thirteen so gold also. I'll take care of it. Every time I see y Yasari, shout out like Leroy. Huh. You sorry. You sorry? I don't know exactly how to say that word. Um, this dawn and dusk seems like it could be pretty broken. I could do that right now on the the usury and. That's pretty awesome. I could wait and get like think of like this wind windfair hatchling with dawn and dusk. Cause that seems amazing also. That'll give all the other allies plus four plus four. That seems incredible. So what so like I'm like, next turn, I'm playing Hatchling. The turn after, I play Dawn and Dusk on it. I'm what nightmares fear. All right, I'm, I'm all for that. All right, after Wizard, I'll, I'll try to... I'll, think, I'll play that deck tomorrow. Oh, if Mushroom 
was good talk. All one, am I right? Yeah, we'll have our expedition again tomorrow. I'll try to play that. My gun does the talk. Afterwards. What? <laughs> so let's see. I need. I need three spots. So I do need this spot cleared up. So we got an extra spot now. So I play Hatchling and then untap Dawn and Dusk the Hatchling. That's my plan. I can play that too. No. My my beautiful plan. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Of course they absolutely do after wizard. Thank you. Wow, that is great. Thank you so much. A big time cheer. Um so basically, okay, so if I if I still if I play this, we have two O threes give our give other allies plus two plus two. Does feel like kind of a waste. The power of our order. Now. Thank you, After Wizard. Do you want me to play it uh first or second after the expedition tomorrow? Like do you want me to play it third? The dark. Mine. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll play it third third tomorrow. After our expedition. That's my plan. Cool. Have you have you started playing this game yourself at all yet? Just you know, just wondering. War Mother's Call, that's pretty good. This guard can win games. So whenever we attack, we give all of our allies barriers. I don't get to... I don't get to dawn and dusk because I don't have more room, room, more room for more creatures now. So maybe I should have just used that dawn and dusk last, last turn. 
this still looks pretty good for us. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, how starting new games and stuff, you kind of get hooked. Yeah. Attack. All right, they're down to nine. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Mm. Could just purify that. What are their champions? Timo and Anivia. I'll just purify it. We'll keep vengeance around. All right, we're gonna get some mushroom clouds. We got 14 cards left and 11 puff caps. So that's the thing is like we, you start with 30 card deck in the expedition. So the puff caps are a little stronger because you, know, you have 10 less cards in your deck. Nobody's drawn a champion. We're both over halfway through our deck. Nobody's played a champion. I'll just use my, my mana and get that thing out of here. Refreshment from a crossroom terror. Oh, the three. Oh, I forgot they have the War Mother's Call. So yeah, they just summon a back alley barkeep that puts a bunch of random cards in their hand. It's pretty good. Doubt you've heard of me. This right now would have Dang, a thirteen nine. So I can't even plus zero plus three it. I was gonna say that right then that would have had me having um <clears throat> having four creatures just enough to dawn and dusk wait why are all my creatures oh i see yuddy uh All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this this time. Take a look at this. 
we didn't do it this other time. But I found a favorite deck yet? Yeah, the D Demacia Midrange. We last played it on Sunday. That's my favorite deck. So they have Teemo or Anivia. So yeah, I have found a favorite deck. It's all Demacia. I like, really like how it plays. Eternal Winter! Oh, I should have twin dis disciplined this first, shouldn't I? That would have made these things bigger. It's all good. Opponent conceded. Yeah, yeah, you call it there, Revwalki. Okay, we get Zed, which is awesome. Inspiring mentor, sparring student, both kind of meh. There's more one drops. We got we got plenty of one drops. Or we can get Garen with Bannerman, which is awesome, and Vanguard. Of course, Bannerman doesn't always hit. And the more the more Demacia I hit I take, then the more likely my Wayfinder is gonna miss. Or we take Lucian, also awesome. And a Senna to go along with Lucian. So we get that combo, and we we already have one Senna, so that's a good combo. And then a Redeemer, which is a good creature also. So no no spells at all. So we're not gonna be able to get a spell. Like there's there's not a single spell in here. So it's gonna we're just taking three more units. Um unfor like while I want to take the Ionia ones the most, and I want Zed Zed more than Garen or Lucian, these other two cards that come with Zed are both pretty bad. So, guess we want to do one of the others. Um, they're they're both like real comparable, honestly. As far as our curve, we do have a lot of one twos and threes, so like it it doesn't really hurt taking double four or five. Um, and I guess the, the two fours and the five are probably more powerful overall than, than these things. So I guess we'll we'll take this double four five. You don't have to worry as much about getting a, a whole bunch of low cost cards in, in expeditions compared to constructed. You can play a little bit slower deck, kinda like you know uh, you know, if you're used to playing like drafts and like magic or anything like playing like draft or sealed your, your decks just aren't going to be as powerful garen lucian <laughs> the old double allegiance Hmm. I did kind of think that, you know, we got, we sent one card back and then we we're going to get two more with how many ones and twos that we have. I thought it's that we would, would have had a drawn a one or two mana card um, out of those three, but I guess not. Your turn too late, Conservator. Tales of our but this Greenglade Elder with these Silverwing Challengers is pretty awesome. Hey, Blade, welcome back. We got the first one, but we're behind in this game. And this, they're all Demacia, which usually when you get to have those kind of decks, your deck's pretty good. And they got turn two Battlesmith, you know, one drop Battlesmith. Like their curve is looking really good, so would not be surprised if we're going to struggle this game. Um, yeah, so I wonder if they'll put in kind of like, like foil type cards. 
That could be a thing. Yeah, that may be a thing. Laurent's are born with blades in hand. Everyone here? Let's go. Help. Well, I'd, I definitely want to kill this Battlesmith. Um, I guess I'm going to be able to... F I'm going to have these Silverwing Challengers that can kill the Battlesmith, though. Um, so I guess I could wait on this single combat. Maybe I should do it now, though, because... Maybe I should do it now. Because if I don't do it now, then on their turn, they get to play, you know, like a five mana elite and give it plus one, plus one with this. I think I'm just going to do it now. I don't want them to really know about these vanguards. Oh no, it's a Garen. Garen's a problem. Well, might have found our solution to Garen. Two approaches. Raise the banner. Lift our spirit. We stand strong. A symbol worth fighting for. I guess I would have had Bannerman for Garen anyway. Attack formation. If it wasn't for their Bannerman. Not a good one. Better sight protect me. Stay resolute. Okay. No, for Demacia. No, for Demacia. No, for Demacia. You cannot stall judgment. 
They're just passing. I guess killing this Garen is gonna be really it's gonna be harder than I thought. No, how no, how do Katarina and Garen interact? I don't know. I haven't seen that. I don't know how I'm getting rid of this Garen. I, I don't think I am. I mean, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get some kind of spell off this Mage Seeker Conservator that does. Awesome, Spell Weaver. Glad you're liking it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I'm not getting tired at all of this game. Like, this game is a lot of fun. Okay. So I want to... Hmm. This thing is also tough. Pun not intended to deal with. Hey, you there. Uh, the last, no, the, the latest balance patch has not come out yet. I believe it'd be a week. I think it's a week from today. Search then. Is my guess of when it is. I'll take care of this. Yeah, that's what Rebel Rebel says. Well, Rebel 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 that doesn't help. Today we turn the tide of war. Okay. That could turn the tide of war. No, eh, not really. Still can't kill Garen. I need to hit Vengeance. Like we did last game. That's good. To the field. We will not hesitate. I am 
dead. Okay, okay. That's a good draw. They don't have another instant, and they just go straight to combat. We can actually take out Garen. Because they didn't kill my 4-3 like I thought they would. Oh my gosh, come on. Now and forever. Well, now we don't get to take out Garen. Hmm. Shrouded path. I need you sorry plus twin disciplines next turn. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard. Take out Garen. So that means it will be block. Cut the block block. Gross. Down to two. That is a good draw. That was maybe our best possible draw. Works out mana wise perfectly. Rings and rings! Oh right, they get rally, they get to attack again. Ugh. Never mind. Alright, they get to attack again. You know, I was gonna be able to kill their Garen, which of course got my Garen back, because my Garen was detained by theirs. All right, anyway, let's see. What trade do we want to make? Rally means rally means you get to attack. Basically, rally is just if you don't have the attack token, you gain the attack token. And so Garen says at the beginning of the turn, rally. And so when you... Um, when it's leveled up, at the start of the round, rally. So when you already... The turn that you already have the attack token, it doesn't do anything. But the turn that you don't have the attack token, like that I have the attack token, then you also gain one. So so basically, they both get to attack. Um, you know, you can, you can, you can, there's cards that let you gain, that let you rally. Like this, whenever you play this, you rally. So if you don't have the attack token, you gain it. So you can, you can play it, you can like attack, attack. Now you don't have the attack token anymore, and then you play Tiana, and then you get to attack again. So you can attack twice in a turn, or it means that you get to attack on the turn that you normally wouldn't be attacking. Um, Lancer is really good. I wouldn't mind picking up the Lancer. We have six five drops. So we are a little heavy on five drops. I think that's my best trade out of these. I think Duelist and Purify. Like Lookout is not very good. Swiftling Lancer is a lot better. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the lot better card. Even if it doesn't help my curve that much out, I think that's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. If you have, if you have like twelve mana, which you know you can't have, you can play or nine mana. You can play three of the Rel relentless pursuits, the three mana rally. You can play three of those, and so you can attack four times in a turn. There's a bunch of five drops. This could have been a two drop. A true Falyorian welcome. Guess I'll take that trade. Just said. For the honor of my house. Take a look. Well, that thing's pretty big. A four six, and if it survives damage, get it gets plus three plus zero. Full speed ahead. That makes that more difficult to just ignore. Hmm. I could like block here and then uh, single combat and do do damage to that, but You'll might as well just block there if I do that. Um, I'm gonna take the six though. Um, I guess that was probably smarter to play that on the Usari, wasn't it? For the elusiveness. Yeah, that's probably smarter to play it on. On the Usari. That would have been 13 damage in the air that I could have had. All right, we we'll trade two for two. Get this first blade. Don't get to... Hey, Pimbot. Welcome back for the third month. Thanks for that, Risa. 
That was awesome. Thank you very much. Getting that Twitch Prime in here. Good. I want them attacking with stuff because I just want to block with these 1-1s. One Search them. And get them out of here. Vengeance. So I need that last that last game to kill Garen. Speaking of Garen. So I do have eight elusive damage right now. Yield or perish. Those are the only two options. All right, I surrendered. I guess they chose perish. Two and one. Trade single combat for Battlesmith. I don't think we need Battlesmith. No, we are not an elite deck. We have a couple, but nah. Trade Twin Disciplines. No, thank you. Could trade Conservator for Laurent Chevalier. Okay. I could do this one. We got four conservators. We don't really need four of those things. I think Chevalier is an underrated card. It's, you know, it's a it's four mana three one challenger. So you basically use it as a three one removal spell. And whenever it strikes, you create a random uh, challenger in hand. It's not bad. Thresh. I think Thresh is the most underrated champion in the game. That'd be my pick. Hey, what's up, Rex? Expedition day. We're two and one. I thought our deck was going to be great with our first Zed bucket, but it it's turned out pretty mediocre. Ooh, this is a good hand, though. You'll soon understand my message. Pump that Zed. We see through all. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. These eyes see all. I am the blade in the dark. Let's go, Zed. We got like a constructed opener. Yeah, I do like that. I like that with the mulligans. And I, I like how you get to know what your opponent is playing before you mulligan, since with it being best of one, I think that really helps. You can kind of see if they're playing aggro or control or something like that, and you get to mulligan accordingly. I think that makes a lot of sense with it being best of one. So you don't just keep an anti-aggro hand like with all this like early removal and stuff like that and then then you're like oh they're a control deck i just lost the chains they never stop traditions are lost if not passed on Elixir of Iron right now. The Avalanche. That's a bummer. An auspicious season.
do want to get rid of this Starlet Seer. Their top ally d did get the plus two, plus two. Yeah, I guess it has been on hold for a while there, Rex. But yeah, I, I need to. I am planning on starting that back up soon. Let's see. If we go, mentor the Usari. Bring me key to gain the strength of rivers. This game's looking really good for us. It's not looking as good. Still, they got two cards. And we have a better battlefield. I'm going to be trying the Bannerman. Pretty good. One banner, one no, our Bannerman missed. Well, that's a bummer. All right, well, with Bannerman missing, we'll trade those. Trade this. Or kill that. And uh, so I'll attack with this thing, too. Yeah, exactly, BJJ. I think people don't realize that it means that after Thresh transforms and then then attacks after that. Oh no, that thing's pretty big. For my homeland, you'll go no far. That's gonna kill a lot of stuff. Strike them down. Well, we were doing a lot better just a little bit ago. I did eliminate her, yeah. Yeah, this game is great. So next turn, they're going to enlighten. Oh my gosh. They did it. My own story. Making the dead deader. They have the, the Elnuk deck in in draft. The Freljord's eternal guardian. <laughs> yeah, I, I wrote why I think this game is better than Magic a couple of weeks ago, Eliminator. For somebody who's been playing Magic for the last decade, all the time, I think this really is a better game. 
All right, we're going to make it some blocks. Jump, jump, jump. Like those things are definitely blocking like that. I'll have these things trade off. I'm only taking three. They're just passing. I shall lead the way. All is as it Sweet. Be. You know, we got to route, you know, so we played that on their turn. Obviously we don't have the attack token. We played uh, we played that Tiana that got us the attack tokens. We got to attack with our elusive unit. 4-7 and game over. All right, third win. We get a new champion. Zed comes along with Greenglade Duo and Usari. Definitely really like the Greenglade Duo in particular. Garen, we get Lancer, which is good, and Reinforcements, which is meh. I don't really want Reinforcements. And that's just two more five drops, and we do have a lot of fives. So I don't really like that pile. Or we can go Lucian and Senna along with Lucian. So that's strong. And then Radiant Guardian. And Radiant Guardian, as you know, is amazing. So that's a really good pile there. Um, it's definitely one of these two piles. I think that this pile may be a little stronger because of how good Radiant Guardian is. But I think I may want this one. I don't know. I guess... I don't really have to worry about curve because either way it's two three five. Right now I have two Usaris already, so that'd be a third Usari. But like I I do think Zed is better than Lucian. Yeah, like like Zed's better than Lucian, and I think I probably like Duo more than Senna. So I think I like the twos and the, the the two and the three over here more than the two and three over here. I'll just so I'm gonna take this one. All right, three and one. Oh man, Karma Heimerdinger. I bet their deck is busted. Side protect me. Track them down. Yeah, if you flip Lucian, flipped Lucian is better than Zed, yes. It's not easy to flip Lucian. Hang on, it's not just a guarantee that Lucian's gonna flip. When you play the two immediately, I'd rather play a Zed than play a Lucian. But, but yes, flipped Lucian is better than Zed. Yeah, this is Lux. They have Hyperdinger and Lux. Oh, that's also true. Yeah, you know, Karma is Ionia. Yeah, you know, like these are, you know, these aren't the constructed decks, but. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop to die. What would you wish to learn? All right, let's pump up all of our creatures, and I can play like Conspirator and bounce this also. Search them. Ruination. Take a look. Talk about a card that my opponent will never play around. Ruination from the Demacia Ionia deck. Ooh. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is a tough call. We have so many good things to play. Stay safe. I guess I could have played. I could have played the Elder again. I was worried about going straight to combat, but they only had the one mana. I mean, I guess they would have played the one-one that could have blocked. So actually, it's good that I didn't do that because they would have played this one-one to jump with. Quite good. Groundbreaking invention to date. Sweet. Our, that was a pretty amazing hand for us, honestly. That was a really amazing hand for us. Looks like a constructed deck in an expedition. All right, what kind of trade do we want to make? Get rid of a conservator for a back-to-back, -back, which is a back-breaking six-mana trick, or get rid of purify for a stand united which is a back-breaking six-mana trick. I don't really like reinforcements, so I'm not even considering the last one. So both of these are good. I think the Conservator is better than Purify. Purify hasn't really looked that great in our deck. Like There hasn't been a single time like where it's really helped us. So we'll take this Stand United instead. Yeah, this is Beverly Hills by Weezer. I never mind when y'all ask for the song titles. It's very easy for me to just look over and say what it is, so it's not, not a problem at all. So I'm definitely keeping Zed. Those are good cards. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna keep Zed. Wow, that got a lot better. <laughs> we're just we're playing constructed. Where are you? You'll soon understand my method. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. <laughs> They have a good start too, though. It's a very constructed looking start there with that one drop, two drop. I think I'll go the duo. Get me a sweet bug. The you know, basically make it so they need to use removal on duo and need to use removal on Zed. Everything's better with company. Yeah, their start was awesome too.
I'm gonna play that first so they don't know that a Zed's coming, so they don't just like try to hold up something for a Zed. Oh, you were of course you were. Still makes sense to attack because then we get the extra creature which pumps up this green blade duo. Even though they were obviously just playing that to be able to block. Please, I have connections. Oh, right, but I guess that does let them get the third spider. I guess that's a thing. Alright, I guess this is bad. I guess this is really bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Alright, the good news is we just kind of clear out. I guess the good news is we just trade. You know, like, it's not like, like all this stuff just kind of trades. We have to give you some good news. Hmm. Alright, I guess that Zed attack was really bad. I still have a lot of power in hand. Um, like how many, yeah, just a Fiora? I was saying how many are you switching? One Fiora? I think that's, that's just fine. For justice, for Demacia. My notice. You have to get me out of here. Dang. Wow, their hand was awesome, too. So Garen doesn't even get to strike here. Yeah, that's not a good one. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Repost? The, there's really not a, a better card. There's not a, a single better card they, they could possibly have. Wow.
Yeah, no kidding. What a draw, no kidding. Traditions are lost if not passed on. And Thresh. A cut above the head. Wow, I really didn't think we were losing this game, like, basically ever. And then suddenly we lost it. The reason to do this is because then I still have, I have three creatures, they have three, like I have three, they have three. Or if I kill Elise, it's not three and three. I guess they get two creatures now. That was just another perfect card. That makes this lethal. Wow. One card for two creatures. That was, that's perfect. It's lethal. Wow, what a crazy game. We had such a good hand. Can't believe we lost that. It was that attack with Zed obviously cost me that game, but still even after that I thought we had that for sure. That repost draw was insane. All right, uh this trade's pretty easy. Um this last one, you know, Wayfinder hits less than half of the time. Uh Green Glade Duo is a lot better car. We're going to just swap that out. That was such a crazy game. Um, I guess maybe they were with Fearsome and Challenger. I guess I didn't really think of the Fearsome. Let's take Zed and Senna. Unfortunately, I'm not attacking on turn three. You'll thank me later. Our deck has turned into being pretty good. For two. Really wish I didn't make that Zed attack. That last game. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. The finest Demossian steel. Well, we're playing against some really good decks, too. It's a good, good one-two right there. The dead, deader. Attack formation. Halt. Contain magic. That's not a good spell. It's like the second time we got that one. Take a look.
All right, is the Zed safe? Just passing. I gotta have like barrier in hand. I am the blade in the darkness. Yeah, they gotta have barrier. They want to use. I'm not. I'm not attacking with these. I don't think they're safe. Wow, that's how that works? Wow. We are playing against some insane stuff. Our hands are good. So I should have just attacked. Zed, like, we would have let Zed die, but then Senna would have survived. I dealt the other damage. I should have just attacked. This is a lot worse for me. Taste my skill. Search them. That's a good one. Justice will be served. Now we're talking about it. This is a, a really you know, this could be a huge card here. Could also be a dead card. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Obviously, if they have Will of Ionia, I'm like really. In really in trouble. <laughs> Get our opponents here. I'll just have it all. So the thing that, that does do. Does let me kill all their stuff with Shadow Flare. Um, but I still gotta deal with this Garen somehow. It's only the followers, not the champion. And then they still get to play stuff. Yeah, it was just a huge blowout. Said. Sergeant is also card draw. Right, you just know what card you're drawing. Like for as far as the three drops. Like Redeemer, yes, is card draw. But so is Sergeant. You just you just know what card you're drawing. Think you fast? Cute. Man, I had a, such a good hand here too, and I got destroyed. That was that Silverwing Vanguard was just completely insane. How how good that card was, and then they had the Will of Ionia blowout. And those the combination of those two turned this game around. Only I 
I feel like our deck was a lot better than that. We only got four wins. Those last two matches were pretty crazy. Like I walked into some cards that my opponent had. We got an Epic Capsule. Got another Radiant Guardian in Cythria. This is a good capsule. And it got a Conservator. That's a good, good card to have also. That was that was disheartening. Those last two matches, man. My opponent had, my opponents just had some really really good stuff, and I kind of walked into some of it. It's not like you know I didn't play perfectly. Um, but oh, that's how it goes. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to try to do better than four wins on our second trial. Um, yeah. So I'll have to try to do better than four wins there on that second trial. That was crazy. Uh, really good deck, but only four wins. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hope you learned some stuff with this expedition. Um, and uh, let's let's try our second trial. Let's see if we can get uh, get more than four wins. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this expedition, and I'll see you for the next video.